So this is the volume control I took out of the radio here. And, uh, you know, it's going to go in the garbage. It might be worth opening it up and try to see just what exactly went wrong inside there. And I think it's probably all going to kind of fall apart when I... Uh, So it's got a bunch of small tangs, and it's got a big... Oh, I know, this is the locking. This is the lock, not a tang. It's a locking thing. Something a little stronger than that. Easy enough to bend them away. You go to bend them back, and there's a good chance they'll all break. Now let's, let's take a close-up look at this. Hey, what's with the funny color? What's going on with my camera here? A little, a little too much focus up. I don't know why it looks like that. Kind of yellowy. Good enough though. So it's coming apart right now. Here we go. Okay. Let's see on off switch back there. curious about is how these connections are made from the, the uh, that's interesting how they've done this I've seen another one like this let me rotate it and make sure I'm seeing what I think I'm seeing yeah so you see the the uh, contact here is spring-loaded a bit to apply some pressure. You can see I got WD-40 on it. Oh, there's another one sliding around with it. It's kind of interesting how they made that. So one is connected. Oh, they're both. These should both be connected. I guess what they've done is they've made two sliding this is interesting they've arranged it so there's two sliding contacts and maybe that makes the chance of losing contact much less you can see the uh, oil I sprayed in there so maybe that's a way of doing that they, uh, they, they both go back and connect you see they have to connect to the center pin and you can see a little wire or something going up right up inside there so there's a slipping a slipping uh, connection in there two plates running on each other and then the one plate the moving plate is hooked up to those sliding contacts and you get the double contact to give you twice you know double your contacts double your fun you know how that goes um, so, but well, that's not the ones we're worried about. We're looking at the outside contacts. So that's here and here. Now, which one of these was the defective one? I can't remember offhand. Let's see if we can spot it. So I see the black material. It's just it's horseshoe shaped. Well, horseshoe shaped. 
it, it comes out here and then this is just a rivet to it. Now look, the other one looks broken. So look fractured. Great. Right in through here. Side. The other side looks really nice, looks really good. Nothing funny going on there. Whoops, except I can't hold it under the camera. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? <laughs> oh, here it is. That's the bad side. Back to the good side. So it looks clean, it looks really nice up through there. I'm looking at right in here. Once again, bad camera work here, right along in here. But on the yellow one, it really doesn't look so good. Now, maybe I can, it even looks kind of cracked up in here. Like it, like it, it's, uh, let's hold it this way. Here, how to get the light. Something going on there. Is it just with that cobwebs? <laughs> I'm having trouble. Uh, I'm looking at the image on my computer screen and uh, uh, let's clean it a little bit. Nice now. I don't know if I see a crack in there. Let's go at this with an ohmmeter. You know, it could just be the rivet. The rivet connection is, is just shot. You can see what they did with the uh, the wire here. It's just it's just under the rivet head. Any of these loose? No, I don't think so. No, I, I wouldn't say they're loose. Yeah, let's put the ohmmeter on that because I can't see the defect. Watch this. We're going to put the ohmmeter on. It's going to start working. That would be that would be uh, Mr. Murphy's assistance. sunshine outside now. So what we'll do is we'll just connect between the uh, questionable terminal. Well, let's read the whole thing first, read across. I'm on 50, 20 mega ohms, so this is supposed to be 500. Well, thank God for that. <laughs> if this thing had come up with a, a number there. So what is it exactly? So I think this red one is the good terminal, so this one I'll go hunting with. Let's touch it, just to make sure. And if I go on the center one, there we are. The 
if I turn it, yeah. But if I then move to the other outside one, open circuit. Okay, where? Now I can make this, uh, I can slide this on here. Let me change this around. Put the red one here. I'll make contact here, we should see it. Yeah. Okay, and what if you make contact here? Sure. How about here? Yeah. How about right on the rivet here? Oops. How about on that little piece of metal that the rivet goes through? That's actually this terminal. So the rivet and the terminal don't seem to connect, but if I can touch the carbon here, or whatever it is, this uh, semiconducting material, hey, up in there. Uh, let's get a little more precision on my tool here. Here we go. Okay. Uh, now I can, if I touch the rivet, we'll see a zero, hopefully. There we go. Rivet. Yep. Black stuff right next to the connection. Zero. Okay, I'll go a little further away. Zero, go way over here. What have I done? Did I, did I, am I on the good lead? I think I'm, I'm, uh, I think I'm on the good one. Yeah. Okay, so that proves how that works. <laughs> now we'll try the bad one. Okay, on the rivet, we should see a zero. Good. Right on the rivet itself. Yep. Now on the black stuff, just past the, the rivet connection. Open. We're up close to it now, and it's a zero. A little farther away, open. I think there is a crack in there. Zero. Open. Microscope time. That's what. Yeah, let's put on the microscope. See what we get here. Okay, so we're looking at the middle rivet, the one that would, the little piece of wire that goes to the slider. Uh, let me just see if I can. Just a little better focused. So now the one we're really interested though is not that one. That's the center one. The one we're concerned about is this one here. And what we're looking for is a crack in that material. That black material. Let me see if I can get her focused in a little better. zoom factor here if I can. Out it a little bit. There, that's just a little easier to look at. Well, I no, no crack is showing up in my... Unless that, that straight line there, um, you, you kind of wonder what I'm talking about. I'm going to flex this in a minute. We'll see. We'll see if we can see something more. Boy, you know, I, if somebody ask me, does this look broken to you? I, I don't think I'd say yes. Let's look at the other side. Now, the other side is supposed to be the good one. Maybe I've got them mixed up here. So here's the other side. Um, maybe I got them mixed up. Did I get them mixed up? Let's give it another test just to be sure. So I think this is the good, the good part. Stay down there. Fingers off. 
Yeah, see that one's. That's the conductive one. <laughs> Check here. I've been laughing at everything falling over while I'm doing this. This is like a dar slide. this to show an open circuit here. That's six mega ohms though. So probably flexing this thing. Let's try that. Gotta watch out for my fingers here. I have fingers on everything. Flex it. Ah. Getting, and we shouldn't be. We should be getting close to, well, something quite low. I don't know about that. Oh, yeah, flexing it. Well, that seems to be showing some effect. Of flexing it. Let's look at it now. Let's see if we can see this. You want to lay down, Cameron? Lay down. I'm tired of fighting with you. Okay, we'll get underneath the microscope again. What a lovely shot. Wow. That's fantastic looking. What are we looking at? We're looking at the one with the brake. Okay, let me just get it right in position here. So that's the one with the brake up, or the supposed brake up here somewhere. Okay, let's get a really good view of it. Gonna flex this. It does seem to be some kind of a area of disruption there. In fact, I think I can see a crack now. I don't know if I can point to it or not. We're coming right from the corner here, right from this corner. It, it seems to be a jagged thing there. Okay, let's flex this now. The whole thing's going to move around, so it's going to be a little tricky for me to, to do this and make it something visible. Because I'm flexing the terminal, you know, beyond the rivet there. Try jamming something up under the. Uh, I need a pin. I need a needle to do this. I happen to have one. So I'm going to try to push something up under and reveal the fracture. Let me get ready here. Why is it you can't see my. There. Oh, I'm under. Okay, let's lift it up. Well, first, of it, yeah, you can actually see just beyond the needle. See the two parts are moving independently? Just just at the needle point. There. So, now you might think, oh, well, I just made that. And you might be right. <laughs> Where to go? But I think there was a pre-existing crack line right in there. Where to go? Where to go? Right in there. I would say so. That's my determination. Uh, why that would crack? Wow. Uh, why, why would it crack right in there? There's no flexing going on, I don't think. I don't know. Anyway, I think that's the story. That's the story on that. Okay. Back to the radio.